when children look at this spacecraft, they often say, that doesn't look like a spaceship, uh, because we tend to think that spacecraft are always streamlined, and maybe they look like rockets uh, more than anything else. But uh, this spacecraft has a, an interesting design, and in many ways it's fairly primitive, given the job that it had to do. Uh, it didn't need to be streamlined on the outside because it was not going to operate in the atmosphere. It would only operate in the vacuum of space, and uh, it would not be subject to a strong gravitational field on the moon. So it's, it's actually, um, fairly flimsy in some areas. Uh, the legs are obviously strong, the mount for the rocket engine is strong, uh, but the craft itself, and particularly the crew module or crew cabin, was really fairly spartan. Um, it had two windows. Um, Neil Armstrong had command of the craft during the uh, final descent to landing. Uh, both of them were standing. They were fully suited in their spacesuit, and they pretty much filled uh, that interior volume uh, in that position with those spacesuits on. Uh, it was not really designed for comfort. It was designed for the purpose of landing, giving the crew an exit so they could spend a couple of hours on the surface of the moon and then launching again along with their precious cargo of lunar soil and rocks to bring back home to demonstrate that they had been there and to have those materials for scientists to begin analyzing to better understand the moon. It's also um, amazing to think that the computing power required in that day to send these craft to the moon and to program them for the descent and the launch uh, was done with fairly primitive computer programs and memory was a minuscule compared to the memory we have now. And it's often said that uh, the computing power we hold in our hands every day with our smartphones is vastly more than it took uh, to send people to the moon and back. It gives you a sense of the ingenuity of the engineers in that day to devise the solutions to get people to the moon and back safely.